What's up, guys? Are you excited for this clown look? Because I am super excited about it. So to get started, I'm going to take this Pro Foundation Mixer by NYX. And this is in white. And I'm just going to put that all over my face to make my face very pale. And just gonna dot that all over, buff it in with a brush, pretty simple. Um, if you don't have this, you can just use a very light foundation or anything white, basically, you can put on your face. Um, face paint, cream paint, whatever you're down for. And then right here, I'm taking an actual face paint. This is by NYX. Um, this is a cream. I'm going to use that to highlight the areas of my face. Um, even though this is a clown, I want to highlight because I'm going to make sure there's a lot of dimension and it just makes everything look more interesting. And then with a loose translucent powder, I'm going to pack it all over my face. I have never actually packed loose um, powder on my face like that before, so I got it everywhere. But this is going to set the creams and make sure any powder we put on top will blend nicely. And I'm just going to take a very gray toned eyeshadow. This is just like a little gray toned brown. And I'm going to cut the cheekbones. Uh, yeah, give it some dimension. And then I'm going to do that on the temples of my forehead, my forehead, and then my nose. This is going to add more depth again and make they look more interesting. And taking a blue face paint, I'm just going to grab a dual fiber brush. Um, I change uh, brushes, dual fiber brushes, a lot in this video. Um, but I'm going to apply it in an like, upward angle type thing, just like up and down my face, kind of like in lines, um, going from my eyes. And then on one side of my face, I'm doing the more cool toned colors, and the other side I'm going to go with the warm tone. And I'm also putting that around my mouth. And these paints are a mixture of the NYX um, face paint and body paint and then a mixture of the Makeup Forever lash palette. And I'm using dual fiber brushes just because they are very um, separated and it gives a lot of texture and grunge so that's what I wanted to go for. This is a very grungy look um, even though it's super colorful. And then there's a little fan brush that's dual fiber as well. That gives a lot of texture. And then I'm also putting red on my nose for the traditional red nose on the clown. And I'm also making that very messy just to go with the rest of the look. And just adding in all the colors that I have. You can just have fun with this placement, um, doesn't really have any specific area to put anything, just you know, go with the flow. And then I'm taking a black cream face paint, and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, um, very dark, very bold. I'm going to arch them very high just to give a more creepy look. And I'm also going to kind of fade them out to the um, beginning of my eyebrow. And then I'm taking a teeny tiny little angled brush. This is an eyeliner brush by Sigma. And I'm just drawing in um, hairs to make it more dramatic. And just to add a more like artistic feel, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> And then I'm taking that black cream paint, putting it on my eyes um, very messily. There's no real strategy to anything. Um, and I'm going to bring that into the inner corner of the brow bone. I'm going to focus it right there and then put it under my eyes. I don't want to blend all the way up to my actual eyebrow just because that would make it look flat. And then going with the dual fiber brush, adding some texture in the black, grunging it up, bringing some of it down. And then doing the lips, um, just using the black cream paint again, 
And then I'm going to kind of angle out the sides, just like a typical clown would have. Kind of like a Joker style thing. And then I took originally red, I was going to ombre it out, but then I didn't like that. So I put this light blue over it, which kind of makes the purple on the bottom, but I just layered it enough. Just I wanted something more um, vibrant to pop into the lips. And then just kind of fudging up the lines. I wanted to make sure the edges, um, like the parts they flare out, were kind of crisp. And then whatever was whatever black was left on that dual fiber brush that I used, um, I'm just going to put that on my face and grunge it up a bit. I'm also going to, on the contour areas, just flick it up to act like a little bit of a contour, just so it would go. I also did a little bit on my forehead. And then a little bit on the nose. And I put a white highlight in the center of my nose just because I wanted to make it look more shiny, like a typical clown nose would. And then just because it looked super like like a painting, I wanted to, to put that highlight down the center of the nose to make it go. Does that make sense? <laughs> and then I just started bringing um, random colors down my neck. And then I ended up going back in because I knew what I wanted to do. At this point, I didn't. So I just put um, colors down my neck in lines and then with black paint I went in between those and kind of broke them up and made it look like stripes. So every other one was a color. And then I went back and I intensified the um, pigmentation of the colors. And I think I changed a few of the colors. Like this one was purple, I changed that to blue and then it was too dark. So I put a light blue inside and that really helped, um, made it pop. And then I put the purple over here. Oh, that was pink, sorry. <laughs> and then I put purple over here. And don't forget about the ears because you don't want them to look disconnected from the look. And I feel like my hair just looked too plain and I don't know, it was just didn't go. So I decided to put paint through my hair, um, starting at the root and then I kind of just drug it out so it kind of ombre out and faded into my natural hair color. I just put the paint between my fingers, grabbed my hairs and then just pulled it through. I also wanted to mention that um, if you noticed my thumbnail is a little bit different. When I was done filming I did just mess around a little bit more and I did those traditional um, kind of like triangles under the eyes and on top of them. Um, so I just did that with black cream paint and just a dual fiber brush and yeah so I'll put a picture in if you want to mimic that and see what it looks like. Um, I really enjoyed the uh, effect it gave and I did like that better. All right, and that is it for this look. It is a pretty simple um, clown look, very messy, so it's pretty simple for everyone. Um, also, I would love for you guys to recreate this. Um, and if you do, please post on Instagram, tag me. I wanna see, you know, give it a like um, and everything. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more um, videos like this. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.